What's up, guys? It's Airborne Sapper. Hitting you guys up with another Funko Friday. And so, before I start, let me uh, just let you guys know I ended up picking up only one new Funko. Uh, I looked around and I really didn't see any Funkos that I wanted. I seen a couple but weren't happy with the prices that they were dealing with. So anything like comics, you guys, you know, if you're not comfortable with the price, don't buy it. There will always be another one. There will always be someone else selling it for cheaper on eBay. So always purchase something with a price that you feel comfortable with. So let's get into this first pop that I picked up. This is Walking Dead number 68. This is Prison Guard walker so this is a uh, the prison guard uh outfit if you guys remember uh, walking dead i mean it's been a while since i watched that show but i do remember this um this is of course a retired fungal pop i think they only did a, a couple in the prison guard i think they did glenn he was in a prison guard and someone else uh, was in a prison guard outfit but uh this is another one uh, also in this series, you have the governor, you have Rick, prison yard, uh, you have Merle. So pick up Merle. But yeah, uh, so this is a new one that I did pick up, and I, I just pulled, I just pulled a couple from, uh, my wall. I mean, I know you guys see that wall of Funkos, I also got three big boxes, uh, that I have Funkos. Uh, so hopefully one of these days I'll put those out and, you know, show you the rest of my, uh, collection. So let's get into this. Um, uh, if you guys don't remember this, I, I'm, I'm 80s baby, so I love this. This is one of my favorite movies, uh, growing up. It's, uh, Big Trouble in Little China. This is a little pan. Great, cus uh, uh, Russell Crowe movie. Not Russell Crowe, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, not Russell Crowe. Uh, dang, I forgot his name. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. Yeah, Kurt Russell. Okay, my bad. Uh, Kurt Russell. Uh, great. I was. I'm, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, I loved uh, Escape from New York, Escape from LA. Uh, just great, great action star. Uh, Snake Biscuit, man. You get. You gotta love him. Anyway, let's get into this pop. This is a. Uh, a PX exclusive uh, glows in the dark. It does glow in the dark. Uh, whenever you get these glow in the darks, make sure you test them before you purchase them. Because a lot of them, not a lot of them, but there's some that do not glow in the dark. Uh, so make sure you're not good. And actually, some that don't glow in the dark, like the Deadpool one, uh, is more expensive than the one that actually glows in the dark. So surprisingly. Uh, so. This is, uh, yeah, uh, big, uh, this is Movie Pop, number 153, uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, you have Jack Brown here, Grace Lau, uh, regular Lopan, and you have, you have Rain, and Thunder, and Storm, or Lightning, in here. So... Yeah, uh, this is this is this is one of those pops where you know you just think about the movie. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I also have my uh, Harris exclusive. Um, this Ghost Rider glows in the dark. This is an awesome pop. Really happy with. I'm glad I picked it up when I did because like right now prices are just crazy for it. Uh, so I'm really happy that I did pick it up. I'm still trying to get the metallic one, so trying to complete the Ghost Rider collection. Uh, this is Marvel Universe 18, and this has an awesome, like, I mean, basically everyone in this, this, these categories, for these, uh, this set is worth collecting. Maybe not the Deadpool, but the... Dark, uh, Dark Doom, uh, Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer is going to get retired soon, and when they put him out in a 
movie or something, a new movie, I mean, I think this is going to rise up, so I got a couple of them saved up, uh, Beast, Beast Flock, because it's retired, and, of course, Dark Phoenix, now, Dark Phoenix, she has, like, two exclusive pops, I think they're going for, like, a hundred plus dollars, this is another one I'm trying to get, so I can co uh, complete this series, I have all of them except her, so I'm just trying to pick the right one that I want of her, uh, the next one, if you notice, Dr. Doom was in here. I also have a uh, Fugitive exclusive Dr. Doom Marvel Universe 17. Okay, that's a better look of it. Yeah, and all these are in protectors. I don't have the hard protectors for them. Um, to me, this this is this has been working for me, so I really don't go all out and get the really hard protectors. Uh, I may look into those. Um, a little further, but this is an awesome pop. Uh, this is a uh, um, gray. I'm looking for the metallic one. The same background as the Ghost Rider, as you can see. Same set. So, that's another one. Uh, right here, we have a Target exclusive, uh, Kylo Ren. Uh, there you go. There you go. Alright, Kylo Ren. You know, when uh, the Star Wars movie dropped, Funko Pops were crazy. They had so many Funkos for the Star Wars movie. It was ridiculous. So, that was pretty cool. Uh, picked them up uh, a while ago at Target. Had a search and had the guy go in the back. Uh, now, these two. Which one? I'll do this one first. Uh, this one is a, of course, everyone knows, uh, Watchmen, Dr. Manhattan, a retired pop, ever since the DC. Uh, this was uh, a great one to pick up, but ever since DC Rebirth, uh, people have been trying to pick this up. Prices have been going up. I don't know what's the cap for it, but uh, this is the one I picked up super early. Uh, probably when I first started collecting. Uh, pops. I really don't have that many DC, but I really enjoy Watchmen. Uh, so, this is an awesome pop in the back. Uh, we have Dirty Manhattan and Roshack from a pretty awesome set. Only two set. And right here, I got his counterpart, Roshack. Love this pop. This is an awesome pop. I love the face, uh, the just the the hat and the, you know the detective uh, little suit. It's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. Same back, and uh, they actually have a San Diego Con exclusive, which is a bloody Rochat. So I'm I'm talking to a guy. We're haggling back and forth uh, for it. So. Hopefully, I don't know if he wants me to trade this Roshack for the other one to lower the price, but I mean, hopefully we can meet at Common Grounds and I can, you know, bring that to you guys. Also, I know that they had the Star Wars exclusive at Hot Topic with Luke arm cut off. I already got those set aside for me. Wasn't able to go pick it up today. So whenever I get those, I'll show it to you. Uh, thanks for tuning in for Funko Friday. Uh, definitely next week I'll pick up some because I definitely have some lined up already. Uh, but just remember, you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. And everyone, Sapper, out.